Hello, uh, in this uh, AWS uh, Restart program, I wish to demonstrate uh, this 75 uh, lab, okay, connecting to current cloud labs. This is especially for the security, okay. Uh, I just click this 75, uh, okay, you can connect to the labs. Here we have, uh, let me just show you uh, the lab contents. So the lab is getting loaded. So I'll just explore, uh, meanwhile, what you can do, can even change the language to ENE US. So there are number of servers which are currently in red. You can see this on RDP client, Kali, Windows, excellent infrastructure which is available, Windows Server. I'll just show you how you can connect to all these servers. So when you say start lab, so this all these things goes to orange. Just wait for approximately three to five minutes to get all the infrastructure ready. So what we are going to learn in this lab is that we are going to use this RDP client and using this RDP client, how you can connect to Windows 10 or Windows Server 2003 and also Windows Server 2012 server. And of course, you also have an, uh, Kali Linux also. So let us explore uh, one by one how you can connect accordingly. Okay. So we need to wait for at least three to five minutes till uh, the uh, servers are getting ready. So here uh, in this exercise one, we will start this lab start we already started this lab and then wait till you get it green so also note down uh, the IP addresses once the lab is invoked you can see this IP addresses also along with port and public access public and private IPs also are available and these are the default usernames and passwords which we'll be using throughout our security lab throughout our security lab Okay, so mostly we will be using this uh, CyberSec and CyberSec is the password. But for as your RDP client, we use this one uh, which is called as uh, Wokaram as your uh, password, as your password. Okay, so this is uh, once your RDP client is connected, you see this one uh, uh, is uh, invoked like this. Okay, so then we can connect using this RDP to Windows Server also. So once you connect to the server, yeah, you can use this. Uh, uh, Remina, Remina, okay, is the icon, uh, is the toolbar which you get. So from there you can give it your username and password. Yeah, you have to use this Wokaram for this password, and then uh, you can go through this uh, lab content and paste the IP address of your Windows Server 2003 or maybe Windows 10 or Windows 12, uh, Server 2012. You can see uh, Windows is you should be ready uh, before your desktop. Okay, so like this it should come when you see the uh, full screen. So try to practice multiple times so that you get familiarity. But for Kali Linux, we are not going to use a RDP client. We just click here, you go into this uh, new screen which is called as a VNC. Using the VNC, we connect to this Kali Linux for all the security lab assignments. So once this is done, we can close this lab. Okay, so let us wait till the lab is uh, Already, I just explored about how to get the contents. So once it is green, automatically you will get a RDP client uh, uh, terminal opened in this uh, second screen, okay, in the second and in the print window. So if it is asked to update software, you can cancel not required. So this is how your RDP client will looks like, okay. So now let us learn one by one. So first of all, take a notepad. Take a notepad and then uh, try to get the information as possible. So the first thing is that go to details. You see this one? These are all your various uh, uh, IP address details which are there. Just make a copy. Make a copy of all this uh, uh, what you call in your uh, notepad. Okay. So you have various systems which are there. So my RDP client is having so and so public IP and private IP. I we can uh, from your uh, private IP, you can even, we can even from your RDP client, you can even use uh, uh, private IP in order to connect to Windows 10. So first one, I want to connect to Windows 10. So here, this is my IP address. Okay, just select the IP address. Use only the IP which you get from iDetails. Okay, so from here, uh, you can see this is your Remima, Remina. Okay, just click that. It may ask for password. For the first time, you give this uh, work error. See the password is already given here. Uh, just scroll down, scroll down. Yeah, you can see this one. V O C A R E U M. 
R T U M. So it is unlocked now. This is unlocked. So provide if I want to connect to Windows 10, provide the IP address. So yeah, you have your username and password. So what do you need to do? Just copy another one, uh, which is uh, really helpful for us. Yeah, this one. So for Windows 10, the username is CyberSec, the password is CyberSec. Okay, this almost remains same for almost all our security sessions. Okay, except Kali, all the Windows uh, things can be used in the same way. CyberSec, and this is CyberSec. You say, okay, we are connecting. Now you have your Windows 10 yeah, client getting ready for the first time. Yeah, you can uh, shift to full screen. This is your Windows 10. Also, you can maximize your screen. You see this one? Yeah, you can connect to and verify your properties. It is Windows uh, 10. Go to this PC, right click, and say properties. This is uh, what we call as a Windows 10 Enterprise, a Xeon CPU, server CPU, I mean uh, with 4 GB of uh, RAM. This uh, system is uh, given to you as part of uh, what we call as uh, uh, for your practice. If you want, yes, you can log off. You can log off or disconnect. So this is done and we will move ahead with the next one. So probably we will try to connect. Uh, the next server Windows 10 is over. Uh, we will try to connect Windows uh, Server 2003. This is a very very old server. Yeah, and here Windows Server 2003, you have this uh, CyberSec administrator and the CyberSec as the username and password. Okay, username and password. So this is my IP address. I just provide once again and say press enter. This connects to your server 2003. The logo itself is server 2003. CyberSec. Yeah. Try to practice multiple times till you gain your expertise. So, this is uh, Windows Server 2003. The banner itself shows that. Otherwise, you can even explore or you can say properties also. My computer properties also. You can see uh, if you have. Okay. All right. So I just disconnect from this particular post. Log off. So you go back again to RDP session. Okay, so we have successfully seen about Windows 10 and the Server 2003. Let us also go through uh, Server 2012. Okay, this is my IP address currently. Just paste. Okay, so the username for uh, server 2012 is, uh, uh, I mean, administrator and cybersec. Okay, administrator and cybersec. Okay, remember this is a Java console. We are taking remotely the consoles. So, yes, for the first time, you can say yes. Yeah, this is server 2012. You can see this one. This is GP Medium on Amazon AWS, which has been posted. Yeah. You can see the properties. Right click and say properties. You see this server 2012 R2. Okay, with 4 GB RAM of Xeon and so and so. Okay, this is file exploration. And uh, just if you want to log out. Just click this administrator button and say sign up. In this way, you can connect to almost all uh, Windows systems. Okay, uh, just do the maximization. And uh, in, we saw about Windows 10, 2003, and 2012. We will now explore about Kali. Kali is a Linux flavor which is especially having a lot of lot of security tools. Just click this Kali. It will open a new uh, what we call as a, uh, window. Okay, uh, I'm closing the RDP. So here, just scroll down. Uh, what you can do uh, is that since we already have this button, this no VNC will come. It will ask for password. Provide the cybersec. Okay, just say connect. 
okay so you can say cyber set yep you are logged into this is kali linux this is kali linux this is how it looks like you see these applications if you want to practice linux yes you can practice linux also you have various for cyber security tools you see this information gathering vulnerability web applications database and so on and so on all these things you can even go to the terminal emulator practice your linux commands etc ls hyphen l anything anything you can see all the file system etc okay so to get out from this is just uh, uh, say exit and then otherwise you can close it also uh, you have this uh, what you call as a, uh, i mean the task bar otherwise you can close it you can close it. the session will be i mean session will be disconnected so i think uh, yeah uh, this uh, this is the lab of uh, what you call a 75 uh, just get yourself familiar uh, for accessing all type of service okay that's all in this lab uh, thank you everyone and bye